Hello and welcome to the Mad Files. The Mad Files, you say? I don't know if I'd named the show before. I decided to name it after um, Rob Lowe's Love Files. Figure, why not have my show named out named the same as a uh, another handsome stud online? Uh, who am I kidding? I think my wife has a crush on Rob Lowe, but <laughs> I think worse things than uh, than. Uh, well, someone significant other thinking Rob Lowe is a handsome stud. Anyway, um, last we left off, the um, you know we had we found out about the tumor and um, and that uh, there is the condition called a pseudo tumor with the buildup of fluids in my brain. And in June, the doctor put me on meds, um, diuretics, to uh, keep the, the fluids low. June 2016. June 2016, that's correct. And um, that's uh, when that started. So, and uh, it worked It worked a little bit, but my eyesight continued to get progressively worse. And that unfortunately happened around the same time I started a new job, which made learning that job very, very difficult. Around July 2016, things started to really go haywire. One, the, um, the, uh, my wife was off work. She was, you know, being a teacher, she was able to drive me to work because driving with my eyesight impaired was, uh, very dangerous. And, um, there was that matter. And also there was an incident at a water park in July 2016 where, um, I was going down a water slide on an inner tube. I became very disoriented and fell off the inner tube. And uh, when I was going down the slot, I, you know, I didn't know where I was, didn't know what was going on. And uh, at the bottom of the slot, I was thrashing about under the water, and I couldn't uh, orientate myself. The wife had to jump in the water to try to pull me up, but apparently I was uh, fighting her in doing that. So it was a really scary situation. Now, I finally stood up and I didn't know where I was. I didn't even know I was at the bottom of the slide. I asked my wife, am I at the top of the slide or not? And I uh, finally gained my senses and she was terrified and so was I. So I got out of the water and calmed myself down and thought <laughs> I could have drowned. What made the, uh, the good thing was we're at a water park, we're with my nieces, and uh, they didn't see what happened. And that was a very good thing because my brother-in-law just died from a drowning accident about a week and a half prior. So it could have been a situation where both their uncle and their, and their dad dying from drowning all within a week of themselves. So. Thankfully, things, well, for a number of reasons, but that's a big one, that things didn't go south in that regard. Now, I got out of the water and um, contacted the eye doctor to have my eyes looked at, and um, he uh, urged me with quite some intensity to talk to my neurologist, who uh, determined that I need to be evaluated by surgeons for surgical options. Now here is where things again became well, quite scary. Now when uh, now this is in August 2016 I was referred to a Dr. Feldkamp who got me in contact with uh, a neurosurgeon uh, Dr. Tumula who I didn't know who he was before that but uh, his reputation and skills were uh, quite renowned. And uh, it was interesting, he primarily, primarily works at the UM. And uh, anytime I'd mention his name, everybody knew who he was. It was like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Oh, you know Ferris? You know, but, um, and uh, when we met with him, my wife and I, there was the option of, as I may have touched on before, doing a shunt which uh, is a mechanical device put in your head to reduce the amount of fluid in your head, or a stent, which uh, 
which uh, is another method, a less invasive method, to lower the fluid in your head, regulate it. Now, I read a lot of bad things about shunts, and um, which made me lead towards the stent. Well, we met with Dr. Tumla in August of 2016. He um, he brought us. He explained both options. He said the shunt wasn't as bad as what you read online, but I decided to go with the stent anyways. So, to regulate the fluid in my head and uh, hopefully return things back to normal and get my eyesight back to normal. Well, got ready. The day for the surgery came up and we went in. I was terrified. I hadn't had a surgery since I was three, four years old and I was with some tonsils. Here I am at, well, about 41, and um, I'm about to have brain surgery. Went in for surgery, came out of surgery. Saw my wife and uh, asked her, so is everything done, everything's good? And she said no. She said they found a lot of other problems going on. And my heart sunk, I didn't know what was going to happen, or what was going on. She said they found a bunch of, oh, Amy, what was it called? An arteriovenous fistula. What those are, are blood veins and arteries, please correct me if I'm wrong, Amy, that have grown together in the not a good way. And generally these things happen in your brain and um, they grow together and they have a tendency of bursting, which can cause paralysis, stroke, and death. Now it's not uncommon that people have this happen to them, but it's usually a couple inches here, a couple inches there in their brain, and a neurosurgeon worth their salt can deal with it. Now... But you coupled with the fluid. Yeah, that cu yeah, exact couple with the fluid, and um, it uh, presented a whole series of problems. Now the surgeon, wildly talented Dr. Tumla, was very, very kind, very open with us, and very frank. He said to us, I don't know what I'm going to do. So he needed to take time to evaluate what was going to happen. Because it was the pressure and the fistula. Pre exactly, pressure and the fistula. There's a lot of stuff that went on, so my wife's helped me keep the timeline straight, so that's what she's saying. And um, so we decided to, um, well, he said, let me contact you soon, and I'm going to have a plan to deal with this issue and uh, let you know. So there was a crazy amount of these fistulas in my head that were uh, far greater than anything, anything he's seen before. And... Um, one fistula could have killed me. That in these fistulas usually are inch to two inches in diameter and very limited. This was all over the left side of my head. It was a crazy situation. And um, so again, bad news and another challenge ahead. And um, that's what we we're facing. So that's. We're, that's where we're at, and we uh, wait for the doctors to come up with a plan and see what was next. <clears throat> now, there's a lot to tell what happened next, so we're going to save that till next week. But um, with the support of my friends and family and my loving wife, it was needed so much to uh, move to this next phase because I was terrified. So. So, yeah, so hope to well I'll be sharing the next chapter of this story next week, early next week, and uh I'll tell you what happened next and uh where this journey goes. So that's all for now. Thank you all for your support and I hope you have a great night. Goodbye.